Do you need help finding the amount of VAT in a given price? Well, in this video, I show you three methods to help you do just that. So in this quick video, I just wanted to show you a couple of techniques you can use to easily find the amount of VAT inside of a price, or if you just want to know what the price was before VAT. Now this is useful to you if you are, especially if you're VAT registered and you're looking for what is something actually costing me? Because generally as a VAT registered business, if you're charged in VAT on things, you're gonna be able to recover the VAT you're incurring. So the true cost to you is the amount that you're paying without the VAT taken into account. So in this little example here, we've got set up the purchase price of this thing that you're buying. So let's just say, you're making, uh, I don't know, uh, a weight, you're, you're making some gym equipment and you're selling it for £120 including VAT and you're buying the metal and things to make it for £60. Now that £60 is actually to you going to include some VAT. You know, you've, you know it's a VAT registered trader, you've bought this before but let's say, I don't know, you've lost the receipt or something like that or you're trying to do some quick maths and you want to know what VAT is in there. Well what you can do is a few things. So here, the one little trick at the 20% VAT rate, so if you know the VAT rate's 20%, normally that's the case. If you just, just tried to take 20% of the £60, it's not going to work. You won't get the result because they've taken £50 and added 20% to it. If you do 20% of £60, the maths doesn't work. So all you do is, there's two ways of doing this. You can either take your £60 and you can divide by 1.20 and that'll give you what it is after the VAT. So in this case, the total amount's often referred to as gross, that's what this figure is, net is the amount after VAT. So 60 pound divided by 1.2 is 50 pound. If you just wanted to know what the VAT was on its own, it's really easy actually, all you gotta do is divide it by six. Don't ask me why, some maths person will tell you, there is a mathematical reason obviously why it works, but um, for us mere mortals, we just need to know you divide by six. Now that doesn't work if you've got some other sort of VAT rate, but this is a very simple tip I just wanna show you. And it's the same the other way, so using this, let's say you've forgotten how you got to 120, or sometimes uh, businesses can price based on what the consumer will pay. So they know in this case, let's use this gym equipment example, you can only sell it for 120 quid. Everyone else sells it for 120 quid. You know it's a competitive price that the end consumer is going to pay. So in your pricing thoughts, you're thinking, okay, well, what is that then? What am I really getting? What is it that I'm handing the tax man? And it works the same. If you take in here and take 120 pound and divide it by six, it's actually 20 pound is the amount of VAT included in that sale price. And the same deal here, if you do 120, divided by 1.20 is £100. So really, in terms of profit, what you're actually doing is you're having £100 and you are it's costing you £50. So the answer to your question of how much money you're making, you're making £50. Obviously in cash, you're getting £120 in and you're paying £60. So it looks like you've got £60 of cash in your bank, but by the time you've handed over the revenue, his money, that's where you get back to your 50 pound. And you, the way you can see that if you're interested is you've collected 20 pound VAT on the tax man's behalf. You take 10 pound off that you can reclaim and you're handing him over 10 pound. So in your bank, you got 60 pound, you're giving the tax man 10 and that's how it works. And that's your quick VAT tip. It also works backwards. So if you knew what the net figure was and you wanted the gross, what you can do is simply take the 100 pound and times it by 1.2. So if you've never seen that kind of maths before, anything you divide by a number, you can times by a number and it comes back up. So 100 times 1.2 gives you the 120 and the same here, the 50 times 1.2 will do the reverse for you and get back up. So there you go. So that's your net, that's the amount without VAT, that's your gross, that's the total with it. And there's your VAT on your own. That's it for this quick tip. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to share it with your networks and subscribe to the video for more just like it. Thank you.